Hey, this is Thomas, and this video is chock full of scholarships all due in the month of August. So watch through this video and you can watch apply for all of these if you're eligible. Now to make sure that you're eligible, there's a PDF that you can download that has all the links directly to these websites so you can actually follow along as I go through them if you'd like, and also skip to the ones that just are eligible for you. So that's a free resource for you. You can download it for free. And also if you don't wanna miss any of my other scholarship videos that I put out, then go ahead and like and subscribe. Let's jump into these first scholarships. This scholarship is called the Global Perspectives Scholarship. Now, this scholarship is $1,000. Now, when is it due? It is due on August 1st. So you got to get it in quick. Now, are you eligible for this scholarship? In order to be eligible for this scholarship, uh, it is open to high school and college students who have to be attending an accredited college or university. So you do have to be either enrolled as a high school senior, perhaps in college in order to be qualified for this. Now, what is it that you have to do? There's going to be a 500 word maximum essay, so it can't be more than 500 words. So what else should you know? That it's open to international students. That's right. This scholarship is also eligible or available for international students. So here is how to apply. Let's jump over to the website right here. All right, so this is our Global Perspective Scholarship, scrolling down here. All right, and it says, uh, Rustic Pathways empower students to positively impact lives and communities around the world through its innovative and responsible travel experiences. So once again, $1,000. It'll be granted also to the school that referred the winning student. So that's cool, $1,000 for you, $1,000 for your student. And in under 500 words, what kind of global impact project is most critical for you to focus on and why? And what is your plan to make that impact in the next year and beyond? All right. So this is the topic. This is the essay topic that you're going to write under 500 words. So you're going to have to kind of cram a lot of good content into a short number of words. But this is the essay topic. All right. Once again, it is due August 1st. Click apply now. Now, if we keep going down here, it says, what do I need to know? So review the essay question. Answer must be under 500 words and write your essay. Once again, this is the same essay. Not sure why they put it there twice. Follow them on Instagram. You can do that in order to be considered for the global perspectives. The applicants must, must, so it isn't optional, must follow the Instagram account. And then again, complete and submit the online application by August 1st. Judging will be based on the quality of the submission. The judges are looking for writing that is clear, articulate, and logically organized. They will also automatically reject anything that is over 500 words. So definitely, once again, make sure you're not going over 500 words. And then again, here's some of the following things, the agreements and terms and conditions. So you probably want to just make yourself familiar with those. Uh, most people just skim through those, but just being honest. But go ahead and click on those, read through those, make sure that you qualify and everything else. And once again, $1,000. And there will be, look here, two runner-ups that will receive $250 each for tuition and books. So once again, apply now, and you can enter to win that contest. Next. Now, this scholarship video today is about the Education Support Awards from the Patsy Mink Foundation. Now, how much is this scholarship? It is up to $5,000. Now, when is this scholarship due? August 1st. So once again, you're going to have to get those in quickly. Now, are you eligible? In order to be eligible for this, you do need to be a mother at least 17 years of age with minor children. Now, you do have to be pursuing a post-secondary degree at a not-for-profit accredited institution or a program in the United States and must be low income. We'll get into the criteria for low income here in a second. Now, what is it that you're going to have to do? Uh, there is information you're going to have to submit, but you will also need to do five short answer essays. So that's 100 words or less and then one 500 word essay. Now, what else do you need to know? There are five awards for this scholarship. Now, here is how to apply. Let's jump over into the website here. All right, here we are. So this, again, is the Education Support Awards. This uh, web page doesn't quite zoom in as well as other ones. It's not formatted that way, so it'll look a little bit odd. Uh, but we're going to kind of scroll through here. So once again, the application is now open. It's due August 1st. And uh, we're going to scroll through here. Here's the criteria. So once again, 17 years of age, a mother with minor children pursuing a, a first degree at a post-secondary level, level of education. And the degree program must uh, add to a level of education accomplished, must be pursuing a degree credential at an institution that does not discriminate on the basis of sex, gender, LGBTQ plus status, identity, race, ethnicity, religion, disability, and immigration status. So I would assume most of the colleges are not discriminating based on that, but if they were, they would also not be eligible. 
and then once again enrolled in a not-for-profit accredited university and here it is the low income criteria so what they say here is uh that your family income is less than twenty thousand dollars for a family of two less than twenty four thousand dollars for a family of three or less than twenty eight thousand for a family of four so that low income status if that applies to you then you qualify so it says here they're offering five education support awards up to five thousand dollars each to lowest low income women with children who are pursuing an education or training and so again awardees are notified by phone or email the foundation will contact awardees only they are not able to contact each applicant and then once again here it'll be dispersed in two installments so one each semester over one academic year so that again it's important to know that it's not just a lump sum of the 5000 if you win all the 5000 and it's not renewable for more than one year all right and it says that maybe use direct school expenses for living expenses while you're enrolled in an education support uh, program and then here's the criteria first is financial need personal circumstance education path vocational or occupational goals and service or activism or civis civic goals now if we go down here and click on this photo it takes us to the next page which is the actual application so we'll come down here now here they have some criteria this is just kind of the same information they did before that they said before and then you type in the institution and you hit continue and that's going to open up more then go through here and this is talking about like how to save and continue how to submit your application all that sort of stuff so this is the details of how to do that once you've read through this information you're going to click this button that confirms that you've actually read that and then it opens up more and here's the actual application itself so you would just fill out all the information that they ask for here and as we scroll down towards the bottom this is where you would literally type your essays in there's like seven steps and so once we get to step six i believe it is here we go so six is your short answer so here's your short answer questions describe the program in which you are or will be enrolled this year how did you decide on the educational pursuit three is what was your educational experience up to now what are your educational goals what will an educational support award help you accomplish and then we have the short essay which they say in approximately 500 words tell us what else you would like us to know about your personal and educational history and so then once you fill that out and you fill out all the other information, verify you're not a robot and you can hit preview my application um, or you can hit save and continue later if you are not done. Next. Now for this scholarship today, we have the Capital Auto Auction Annual Scholarship. That is a mouthful, but we are going to see how much this scholarship is. This is $1,000. Now, when is it due? This is due August 15th. So you have a little bit of time, but not too much. So jump right in, get this application submitted. Now, are you eligible? Uh, undergraduate students must be majoring in a STEM field of study or a related field, as well as attending an accredited college or university. So what is it that you have to do in order to apply? There's going to be a 500 to 5,000 character essay now notice it's a character not words so it's not 500 words to 5,000 words it's 500 characters to 5,000 characters so keep that in mind when you get to that submission section now here's how to apply let's go ahead and jump over into their web page right here all right the capital auto auction annual scholarship uh, we're going to kind of scroll through a lot of this this is just them talking about their their mission and their goals and their company and all that sort of stuff they say stem students according to the department of education stem fields of study include computer sciences engineering mathematics natural sciences including physical biological and agricultural sciences and related fields so anything like that is going to be qualifying as a stem field or related field and once again down here they have a thousand dollars that will be awarded and they also say 250 dollars textbook scholarship for two runner-ups so three awards total will be given out if we continue down here uh, once again they talk about majoring in a stem field and the deadline again is august 15th and they say that the winner will know by august 30th all right continuing down here the application form is below so you'll submit that and if you have any questions then send it to this email address right here so here's the actual form you fill it out right on the website we're going to go through here and down here it says do include a transcript so you want to put your file for your transcript right there and then here's the essay tell us about yourself and why we should pick you a minimum 500 characters maximum 5,000 characters so this uh, essay we talk about this sometimes as well uh, this essay is also one that you're going to be able to reuse the content of because all it is saying is 
tell us about yourself. You can typically include yourself in other essays as well and why we should pick you. Other essays for other scholarships are going to ask similar questions about like, hey, why should you get this? Why do you deserve this? Why would we want to give the award to you? All these types of essays so that the information you put into this essay you can reuse. Or if you've answered, answered essay questions like this in previous essays, go ahead and pull those out. And then you got most of your essay likely for this already done. So just keeping that in mind. All right. And then if we go down here, you're going to signature sign there. You're going to verify that and submit your application and you are all done. Next. Now let's jump right into this scholarship. This scholarship is the Innovation in Education Scholarship. Now, how much is this scholarship going to be for you? This is a $500 scholarship. Now it is due every single month, the 20th of every single month. And so if you don't get the application in by the 20th, then wait till the first of the next month and then you can apply again. So are you eligible? In order to be eligible, you need to be a high school or college student with a minimum of 3.0 GPA and a citizen of the United States or Canada. All right, what else do you have to do? So basically you're gonna have to design some sort of innovative project that makes a difference in the lives of others. And they specify some examples, a website, a series of blogs, an app, some sort of fundraising event, anything like that. Um, and then you're gonna have an essay and supporting documentations that support that design, that project that you're gonna do. There is no minimum or maximum word count or page count. So it's basically whatever it is that you need to submit to get us to understand what it is that your project is, that's how much they want. All right, now here's how to apply. Let's jump over into the website over here called Innovation in Education Scholarship. Scrolling down here, it says enter for a chance to win our monthly $500 scholarship. Now going through here, the first part here just kind of talks about the company, different things that they do and their kind of mission and the goal. So you can definitely read through all of that, but I'm gonna skip through all that for our purposes right now and go down to criteria. So as a student, it says you must currently be enrolled as a high school or college or university student. As far as the GPA, like we said, must be at least 3.0. And it does say, once again, you have to be a citizen of permanent resident of or hold a valid student visa in the United States or Canada. So you don't have to be a resident as long as you have a student visa. Now, the uh, you have to design an innovative project that makes a difference in the lives of others. And again, we talked about a website, a series of blogs, an app, fundraising events, etc. So it's a pretty broad, pretty open to any of the projects that you have in mind that are going to make an impact on others. Now, you do have to submit an essay that describes the goal of the particular project, and you also have to provide any supporting documentation. So because of that, they don't give any maximum or minimums. You just need to give them whatever you feel you need to give in order to meet that criteria. Now, they do say the essay, the idea, or creation must be the applicant's original work. So no stealing anybody else's ideas on this one. All right. And then submissions, once again, they do have to be submitted on the 20th each month. But the scholarship will reopen on the 1st at the beginning of the next month. So once again, now, if you are a previous winner, you are not eligible to reapply. So that's important. And then the terms here, the scholarship winners will be contacted via email and must respond within five days of the date of the email to accept the award. So if you don't respond, if there's no response, then they're going to give it to another student. All right, so keep that in mind. You don't wanna miss winning the money just because you forgot to reply. All right, so the, here's the actual application right here, phone numbers, all that sort of stuff. Now going down here, they talk about needing not only the essay, you also will need a letter of recommendation and a photo of yourself. All right, so those three things, essay, letter of recommendation, photo of yourself, they give you a little bit more details about what they're looking for there. And then here's where you actually submit the essay, upload the file for the letter of recommendation, upload the file for your photo, and then you submit the application. And that's it. Next. Now, jumping right in, this scholarship is called the iVane Scholarship. Now, how much is this scholarship? This is a $2,500 scholarship. When is it due? Well, you're going to want to apply for this before the due date of August 31st. Now, are you eligible? So current full-time undergraduate or graduate students attending an accredited college or university and with a cumulative GPA of 3.7 are eligible to apply. Now, what do you have to do to apply for this scholarship? There's going to be an 800 to 1000 word essay, and you also have to submit a transcript. So what else should you know about this scholarship? It has a second due date. And so in addition to August 31st, it's also due December 31st. So if you miss this deadline, try again in, a, in a, about six months. But uh, same thing, if you miss the December deadline, then you can try again in August. So you wanna hit these deadlines every time they come up. Now here's how to apply. 
Let's jump over to the website here. And this is the iVane Health and Wellness Scholarship. It says, turn your health and wellness into tuition dollars. Now, they do, again, give some background information, some statistics, some things about different things that they're related to their business. Uh, but down here, it says how to apply. Any current full-time undergraduate or graduate student attending an accredited United U.S. university or college with a cumulative GPA of at least 3.7 is welcome to apply, which we discussed earlier. And then you're going to do a 800,000 word essay. And here it is promoting a practical approach to healthy lifestyle during college years and how these habits can be sustained over a lifetime. And so again, not just the healthy lifestyle while you're in college, but also how that can be sustained beyond college and over your lifetime. And then again, demonstrate detailed knowledge of health and wellness and discuss why healthy living is a lifetime endeavor based on your personal experiences. Your essay should be in a Word document or similar, so PDF, Google Doc, etc. file type with your first and last name in the document title. So definitely don't miss that. And then you're going to forward the completed essay documentation and GPA and full-time uh, enrollment status to scholarship at ivane.com. And then this is what they want you to put in the actual subject line, ivane scholarship. And then on or before the listed deadline. So the requirements to apply. Uh, enrolled in an accredited U.S. college or university, um, enrolled full-time, 12 credit hours for undergraduates, and nine credit hours for graduate students. Here's your GPA. Students in pass-fail programs must provide proof of a passing status, and then please indicate the semester that you are applying for. So again, they talk about the deadlines, August 31st, as well as December 31st. Who is eligible? We already talked about that. Do I have to be enrolled in a college or university to apply? Of course, yes, we already talked about that. Uh, prove your enrollment status. So this is where they want your transcript. The amount of the award. Again, here, they, it's a $2,500 award, but there are two, two scholarships of $2,500 each that will be awarded annually. And the recipients are only eligible to receive the scholarship once. The selection process, there's a committee that will review the essays and some morning documentation. And then any other questions, send them to scholarship at ivane.com. Dot com. So you can also check back through winning essays from the past. So 2022, they also have 2021, etc. So I definitely recommend reading through these past essays that have been submitted because this is an example of what they saw and liked and decided to award. So these types of essays are the types of things that they've already said that that's what they're looking for. So always when a scholarship a website gives you information about past submissions or past winners, check that out because that's information you can use to make your application more likely to win. Next. Now, jumping right in, this is the Leaders Save Lives Scholarship Program. And this scholarship, how much is it? It's up to $2,500. And also, there's more than just one award that you can win for $2,500 or lesser amounts that, that are awarded each year. Now, when is it due? This one is due August 31st. Now, are you eligible? Well, you do have to be currently enrolled in high school, college, university, technical school, trade school, or community college. So lots of different enrollment options to be eligible for this scholarship. Now, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to host a blood drive and at that blood drive, collect a minimum of 25 pints of blood. Now, uh, what else should you know? This scholarship is also due January 15th. Now, here's how to apply. We're going to jump over to the website here. All right, here we go. Leaders Save Lives program. It says host a blood drive and make your mark on the world. Sign up to host. If we scroll down here, here you can watch a video of somebody else talking about hosting a blood drive. But here's the program awards. The scholarship drawing and gift card amounts uh, uh, will be based on the number of pints collected at your blood drive. All right, so here we go. Scholarship drawings for 25 to 59 pints of blood. It's $1,000 for six winners. For 60 to 99 pints, it's $1,500 for two winners and for 100 plus pints it's $2,500 for two winners so 10 awards total uh two for 25 100 two for 15 and six for a thousand and then again there's also the winter option um so it's it, you can do it twice a year now then in addition to these awards that they award 10 of them to everybody uh, gets these gift card amounts as an individual. So 25 to 59 pints, $50 gift card, 60 to 99, 100, and 100 pints, $200 gift cards. So everybody gets the gift cards, but there's a drawing for the winners of the actual scholarships. 
So that's the difference there. And here's how you can get involved. Again, sign up and host a blood drive here the dead. So, so in the summer, it's June 1st through, July, through August 31st. And for the winter, it's December 15th through January 15th. So those are the time frames that you want to do it in. And then they have forms here for you to recruit committees to basically make it more of a success. Recruit your friends, family, the community to donate at your blood drive. Uh, again, collect 25 pints or more, and then you're going to earn a gift card, and then you're going to be entered to win the scholarship. So you don't even have to write an essay. You just have to fill out the, uh, you just have to host the blood drive. And based on the amount that you collect, determines what category you're in as far as what you can win. So here's other program resources, things that you can check out as well in order to submit your application and submit your uh, information for your blood drive. So if you're ready, go ahead and hit start now and jump right in. Moving on. Now, jumping right in, this scholarship is at spestos.com scholarship. Now, how much is this scholarship? This is a $3,000 scholarship, but as you'll see in a bit, there's also other awards. When is it due? It is due August 31st. Now, are you eligible to apply? It says any undergraduate and graduate students, 18 years and older, and then enrolled full-time in a United States institution. So what do you have to do? You're gonna have an essay that has to be between 750 and 1500 words, and then two letters of recommendation. Now here's how to apply. Let's jump over into the website. All right, we're at asbestos.com. And again, it says uh, $5,000 in scholarships to students who bring awareness to asbestos related cancers. We're gonna scroll right here. And again, it says, look, $3,000 is gonna go to first place of scholarships. $2,000 is going to go to second place scholarship. So that's where the 5,000 total comes from, but not to one person. All right. Rules and requirements. The essay topic, asbestos is a toxic mineral that causes mesothelioma and often terminal cancer affecting more than 3,000 Americans annually. The topic you choose should bring light to the issues surrounding mesothelioma and help raise awareness about the disease, research, promising clinical trials, survivors, and caregivers. So you kind of have a little bit of leeway on how, what you choose to write about, but it needs to basically fit into this category somewhere. So issues surrounding these things, uh, awareness about the disease research, promising clinical trials, survivors, and caregivers. All right. Now the winning entries, it says they will publish winning entries on the scholarship page and promote it on their social media accounts. So that's just information for you. And it is a one-time payment that will be sent directly to the winner's school. All right, now here are some of the requirements. Again, undergraduate or graduate student, 18 years and older, enrolled full-time. Here's your essay, it has to be 750 to 1500 words, two letters of recommendation, and again, it's due August 31st. Now, if you come down here, here were the winners from 2021, first place and second place, so you can check that out as well, read more or second place. Now, below this, they actually go again through how to apply. So you're gonna write your essay, please keep it in the criteria, 750 to 1500 words, then you're gonna submit the entry online. So once you've finished your essay, please fill out the online application, include your essay, picture, and letters of recommendation. And then if it says here, they will contact the finalists. So if you become a finalist, then they will ask you to send a transcript that is proof of enrollment at your university. And then the selection process and winners, how will the winners be chosen? Well, you wanna make sure you pay attention to this. It says they will evaluate based on style, grammar, level of research, and the quality of the content. And then they will select two submissions that best capture the essay of the essay topic. And that's where there's two awards. When will the winners be announced? It says the end of September. It does say 2021, but that's because that was uh, not been updated on the website. Now, what are they looking for? Here are the judges. So he says an essay writer who shows real knowledge about the subject based on facts and figures, not just opinion. Uh, Karen says a personal story reflecting a family connection to mesothelioma or one that shows a promise in treatment. Uh, Missy Miller says an entry written from the heart showing the human element of how asbestos affects the community. And then here we have a passionate, clearly written essay with thorough research, genuine interest and fueled by progressive thought. In addition, like I said, there was going to be a little bonus here. Here's other scholarship uh, scholarships for cancer related organizations. So the American Cancer Society has awards up to $10,000 annually to graduate students pursuing master's degrees uh, in these fields. And then the Cancer for College, open to cancer survivors enrolled in college, and it says they're from $250 to $4,000. The National Collegiate Cancer Foundation awards $1,000 to college students who lost a parent or a guardian to cancer. 
And then the Susan G. Komen for Cure uh, for the Cure Scholarship. Students receive up to ten thousand dollars annually over a uh, four. I'm assuming that's a four year period. The next one. Now jumping right in, this scholarship is the Achieve Today Scholarship. Now, how much is this scholarship? It is a one thousand dollar scholarship. Now, when is this one due? August. 31st. So you're going to want to get this submitted soon, but it is the end of August. Now, are you eligible for this scholarship? In order to be eligible, you must be 18 years of age or older and a current student of an accredited United States university or college. Now, what do you have to do? There will be a three to five minute video audio submission or an 800 word maximum essay. So not both one or the other. Now, what else should you know? This scholarship is also due December 31st. So this is two due dates throughout the year. Now, here's how to apply. Let's jump over into the website. All right, here we are on the Achieve Today website. And as usual, they talk about sort of their selves as a company, what they offer, what they do, and that sort of stuff here at the beginning. And again, this scholarship webpage is not necessarily formatted well enough. So when I zoom in, I'll show you here, uh, it actually just cuts off instead of reformat. So that's why I have it sort of zoomed out. Uh, I know it'll be hard to read, but I'll, I'll read it to you what the parts that we need to. So uh, the details here, it says they will be offering two scholarships throughout the year, gifting totaling 2,000 awarded annually. So there's one spring and one fall recipient that will receive $1,000 scholarships to the institution of their choice. Now, the recipients are only eligible to receive the scholarship once during their lifetime. So if you apply and win, then you're not eligible to win again. And again, it says submit a video or write an essay, not both. All right, so eligible students will. Let's see here. You're going to submit a video or audio of three to five minutes, or you're going to submit an essay of no fewer than 800 words on personal development or high performance. It says competitive candidates will explain one of, so again, not all of them, one of the following personal development principles and discuss how living that principle made a positive impact in their life or helped to overcome a life challenge. So here are those four principles. We have the law of attraction, having an attitude of gratitude, the power of positive thinking, and then focusing on things you can control. So those are those four. You're going to pick one, just one, and write about that or make a video. It says these principles can be shared through inspirational, motivational stories or experiences overcoming life's challenges through living personal development principles. It says YouTube submissions are strongly encouraged, although not required. Video should be no longer than five minutes. And then it says submit a content contribution agreement. This is basically uh, like a terms of service or terms and agreement. So it's basically uh, the details. Really, all they're wanting to get from you is that you're giving them permission to use your either video or your essay submission, however they please. It basically becomes their property when you submit it to them. So that's the gist of why that contract exists. So that's pretty much it. You're just saying, hey, you have permission to use this how you want once you get it. And then it says you're going to email the completed materials to scholarship at achieve today. Dot com. So who can apply again, 18 years of older, uh, a current student at an accredited U.S. college or university. And in addition, uh, current students of the Achieve coaching program are eligible to apply. When is the deadline? August 31st or December 31st. And then the selection process, it says all applications and essays will be reviewed by the Achieve Scholarship Committee and one winner will be declared. Once the winner has been determined, he or she will be contacted by the Achieve Today, informed of the scholarship award, and asked to sign an acceptance letter. And again, if you have any questions, then please email them to scholarship at achievetoday.com. Next, jumping right in, this scholarship is the Greg Baumgartner Scholarship. Now, how much is this scholarship? This is a $1,000 scholarship. When is it due? It's due at the end of August, August 31st. Now, are you eligible? Applicants must be enrolled in either high school or college in the United States and must maintain a GPA with at least a B average. That's a 3.0 uh, on a 4.0 scale. And what is it that you have to do? There's a 200 word maximum essay. Now, here's how to apply. So let's jump over here onto their website. Uh, again, they are the Texas truck accident lawyer. That is uh, who's offering this, the Greg Baumgartner scholarship. And again, this talks about that information. Uh, about the scholarship, about the attorney, and then it says they are offering a $1,000 scholarship to help a young person obtain an education. The scholarship targets a student who is paying their way through school without parental assistance. So to apply, it says, please write a very short essay, not to exceed 200 words, about yourself, your educational goals, and the reasons for needing a scholarship, and include that in your email application. 
All right, it says, do not call, do send all communications by email through this scholarship at Texas Truck Accident Lawyer dot com criteria once again it says you must be enrolled in high school or uh, in the or college in the united states must maintain a gpa with at least a b average and submit the deadline by august 31st and then they're going to review the information and select one winner at their sole discretion there's no formal application just include all that information in their email and it says to apply for the scholarship send that email once again to scholarship at texas truck accident lawyer Dot com. Then they do say you are going to include your name, email address, and telephone number, as well as the transcript with your GPA from your current high school or college. But do not send materials other than that, so they don't want letters of recommendation, resumes, or other financial information. And again, you should hear back in September whether or not you won. Next. Now, this scholarship is the Make Me Laugh Scholarship. Now, not me, but the actual people putting on this scholarship. So how much is it? Now, this is a $1,500 scholarship, definitely worth taking a look at. When is it due? August 31st. Now, are you eligible to submit this? In order to be eligible, you must be 14 years of age or older at the time of application, must be a legal U.S. resident, must be a resident of one of the 50 United States or the District of Columbia, and the award is for United States students. Now, what do you have to do? There is a 250-word maximum essay. So here's how to apply. Jumping over here onto the Unigo website. It says Unigo Make Me Laugh Scholarship. Scrolling down here, they want to laugh out loud. It says scholarships can be fun. Take a break from the boring application routine and make us laugh. That's right. We want a real laugh out loud moment. Make Me Laugh is a fun scholarship that lets you cut loose and lighten things up. Looking for a scholarship for comedians? Now is your chance to show us your funny bone. Perhaps you always have an embarrassing but funny story to share. Great. We'll promise to laugh with you, not at you. The point is that not all scholarships have to be serious. Relax and have fun. The only thing serious about the Make Me Laugh scholarship is the money. And again, it is a $1,500 scholarship. It says you could be laughing your way to the bank. It only takes a few minutes to apply. So again, here's the information they want you to fill out. And then down here is where it says, OMG, finding and applying for scholarships is serious business, but it's time to lighten things up a little. We don't want to know why you deserve $1,500 or how, to, how great your grades are. We simply want to laugh out loud. Describe an incident in your life, funny or embarrassing, fact or fiction, and make us laugh. So it doesn't even have to be a true story. It just has to be something that will make them laugh. And again, you have 250 words or less to submit that. Set, uh, click acknowledge that, that you have read all the rules and etc. Come down here, sit, hit submit my application, and you are done next now this is the sbb scholarship now how much is this scholarship this is a 2500 dollar scholarship now when is it due it is a rolling application process so there's not a specific due date they will accept applications any day any time that you submit it and then there will be awards uh, given out on a monthly basis so uh, the rolling application process just means that you can submit the application at any time and then it will be put into whatever uh, whatever month category that they're searching or, or putting out applications in, then they will award it. And then if not, then you know it'll be in the next category the next month or however it is. So just keep submitting the application and uh, there's no specific deadline you have to actually meet. All right, now are you eligible? Currently enrolled as a full-time student and pursuing a degree in a STEM field, and then you'll be eligible to apply. What do you have to do? There's a 500 word essay. Now here's how you apply. Let's jump over onto the website here. All right, so once again, right here, it says they're now accepting applications on a rolling basis, right there at the top so that you can continue to apply. All right, and again, a little bit about them. They say they're a STEM scholarship that encourages and empowers students to create significant value and countless new opportunities for, so uh, for society through their pursuit of higher learning, especially through interdisciplinary combination of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which is what STEM stands for. So how to apply? Again, there's no application deadline. The applications are reviewed on a rolling basis and scholarships will be awarded monthly. A total of 12 200 or $2,500 scholarships will be awarded throughout the year. All right, here are the guidelines. SBB Research Group wants to read your response to the question, what have been your most significant experiences in STEM? And how will you use STEM principles to improve the world? 
And this should be a short essay, 500 words or less. So it's kind of a two part question. Again, what has been your most significant experiences in STEM? And then how will you use STEM principles to improve the world? Uh, again, eligibility, be currently enrolled as a full time student pursuing a degree in one of the following fields and an immediate family member or current SBB research group employee is not eligible to apply. Winner selection. So the committee will award one $2,500 scholarship via the following process. So the committee will select the eligible candidate with the best submission in its sole and absolute discretion. Once notified by email, the candidate will have one week to accept the award. Now, failure to accept the award within that one week will disqualify that candidate. The committee will select a new candidate and this process will repeat. Uh, acceptance of the award may have additional requirements set by the committee and or the college, the student's college, university, trade school or design school. So those are also eligible recipients. The committee reserves the right to request further information from you, including but not limited to documentation in support of the information that you provide. So they may ask for additional information to uh, to kind of verify your actual submission, make sure that what you submitted was correct, accurate to you, the school's information, enrollment information, any of that stuff. If they ask for it after they've selected you, then just give it to them so that you can receive the funds. So don't be bothered too much by that. If you're the winner, they will give you any further information. And here's the actual application itself that you can submit. So all this information here, uh, your address information, the country, your phone number, hit next, and uh, it'll take you to the next page. Now there's pages one of seven. So seven pages that are part of this application. And when you're all complete, then that's all you have to do. Next. Now this scholarship is the first financial bank scholarship. How much is it? It is a $2,000 scholarship and it is awarded on a monthly basis. And when is it due? This one is due August 31st. But again, if you miss this deadline, you can always submit it again next month. Are you eligible? United States residents 18 or older who are planning to enroll or are currently enrolled in a college degree program are eligible. What do you have to do? There's an online application that you have to fill out with a 500 word essay. And what else should you know? Once again, it is due at the end of every month, not just this month. So here's how to apply. Let's jump over into the website and check it out. All right, First Financial Bank, the Scholarship Goals Scholarship or Financial Goals Scholarship, win a $2,000 scholarship. All right, and they wanna celebrate those who recognize the importance of pursuing education and financial goals with this scholarship. Again, it's a $2,000 scholarship awarded every month. Eligibility, we just talked about 18 years or older and planning or currently enrolled in a college. How to enter. You're going to complete the entry form, which is includes the responding to an essay prompt of, of 500 words. Optional, post that you've entered in a public Facebook or Instagram post. Now, technically, they say it's optional. It may not make a bit of difference, but oftentimes if they are giving you a suggestion of something you can do, it's a good idea to consider doing it. Um, and then this is what you're going to fill out, hit enter the scholarship. That's going to take you to the actual place where you can fill out the rest of it. And look here, you can look through past winners and past uh, uh, people that won these different awards through different months. Here's March, April and May. So just continuing to apply. So hit enter and submit there and it'll take you to that essay and everything else that you need to do in order to apply. So those are the scholarships you can apply for in August. And once again, don't forget to download that free PDF that has all the links directly to these web pages that will save you some time and skip to the ones that directly are ones that you're eligible for. Now, if you're interested in watching any more scholarship videos that I have right now, then you can definitely check out this playlist here, or you can check out this video that YouTube is recommending you watch next. Either way, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.